Today is my ultrasound. Woo. Yay! Talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. And it's tomorrow. Hello, Box. Good morning. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. If not, I'm sorry to hear that. But I hope this vlog cheers you up. We are on our way to work. And are you early? No, I'm late. You're early. Well, you're an hour early. I'm I am later than I would. I intended to be at work. I wanted to be at work at 7:30, and. It's, it's now 7.30. But Whoa. that's a whole hour before you were getting there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true, yeah. Then it's half an hour before you're expected to be there. That's true, yeah. So I was I, I had a conversation with Heidi, and um, I think that I'm going to transition. Because I do a lot of work after school, um, and I'm going to try and transition some, if not most, of that to the beginning of school. And so... That way, instead of leaving at like five, I, you know, get, get in there at like eight, eight fifteen, leaving at five, get there at seven, and leave at four, and so sort of shift things around. Except you're leaving way early today because today is my ultrasound. Woo. Yay! Hopefully, you're still a girl in there. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do if they got it wrong. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's it's not like we bought a bunch of stuff because we had a bunch of stuff from Roslyn. That's true, yeah. But we'll have to talk about names again, which oh, I don't man. really want to have that conversation again. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. I don't. Let's, let's let's cross that bridge if we come to it. Um. Another news. Yeah. So you know, this is me making an active effort to 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 be better about being on time to things. <clears throat> I got I got called out by uh, Kelly. It was Hush Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Hutchinson called me out that she's been watching for a year and I, she's right. And you know what? Totally 100% right. You were totally right. What did Kelly say for those Kelly who didn't said, read her comment? Kelly said that I have been saying I'm going to be on time for like a year now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I haven't. And I haven't gone around to it. And so, but that doesn't mean that I should just give up. And I think that's important too. That I shouldn't just give up and say that I'm not going to. But I also think though, I can't just keep saying I'm going to be on time. And expect something to change. Mm -hmm. So this time around, we've we've made some systematic changes. For example, you may have noticed that the vlogs have been getting up in the evening instead of in the morning, and that's because I don't have time to be at Starbucks working <clears> on the <throat> vlogs anymore since Ken has to be to work early. And you know, I, I and I haven't I've been to getting that more point, sleep. <laughs> yeah, to that point, um, like if you watch the vlog from a year ago. That's what kind of got me back onto like a kick of trying to get the house clean. And I said even a year ago that like I kind of don't want to vlog myself trying to get the house clean because I feel like in a week or two it's not going to be clean. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I know it. That it's not going to be clean. It's very infuriating even that like I just... I can't seem to be on top of things, but we're people with flaws. And Ken's flaw is that he's late to everything. And my flaw, our flaw, our flaw. Yeah, our flaw. Is that we're not very <laughs> clean people. So, you know, that doesn't mean you stop trying to improve yourself. You acknowledge what you are maybe not so good at and try to move on from there. And we're, we're kind of throwing ourselves out there right now. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to commiserate with us, you know, and let us know in the comments down below, what is something you kind of struggle with? Mm -hmm. That way I feel less terrible about yeah. always being late to things. Yeah, and as I'm opposed to pointing it out in the comments. Ken, you're late to everything. Heidi, you're messy. <laughs> You can do that, I guess, but just so you know, if you haven't watched the bump date, it might make me cry. Anyways, but I, I, I lost my train of thought earlier, but I was I was going to say, you know, with Kelly and other people that, that, you know, point things out to that, I actually do appreciate it. I do want to specify. He appreciates it hearing it from you guys much more than hearing it from me. Well, it's it's a third person's perspective, and I appreciate it when you guys are, are you know, you're not, you're not like malicious about it. You mean in a, in a good heartfelt manner. Um, and so I appreciate that. And so maybe I should I should have them be my accountability partners. To make sure you're on time to, to work. Sure. You can, they just check on me every now and then. Have you been in time, Ken? Are you excited, Ken? Yep. Do you even know why I'm asking? The, the, the thing. The anatomy scan? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see our baby! 
Um, but first we have to pick Roslyn up. How far along are you? I am 18 weeks and six days. Why do you ask? Coworker asked me and I was like, these are questions you should know the answer to. The difference when you have an older child at home. You totally would have known that answer with Roslyn. I turn 19 weeks tomorrow. So when they're watching this, I'll be 19 weeks. I know you're in your second trimester. Mm -hmm. I reach the halfway point next week. So it's kind of early for the um, anatomy scan. They usually do it at 20 weeks and they're doing it at 18 and 6. But they did it at 17 weeks with Adelaide. Why? Um, it's usually just between somewhere between 17 weeks and 22 weeks. Oh. Just come Typically in at, it's 20. It's like coming at some point. Yeah. And with Rosalind, I think it was scheduled at 21 weeks, but then I got in the car accident at 20 weeks. And so they just said, okay, let's just do it right now. In fact, you weren't at the anatomy scan with Rosalind. Nope. Because I got in that car accident and it was like an emergency ultrasound. Roslyn just found goggles in the diaper bag and decided that putting them on in the waiting room sounded like a good idea. Are you proud of your child? I'm so proud right now. She's so <laughs> So we're not really supposed to do this, but the tech isn't in here. So I'm about to have my ultrasound. Here's a look at the room. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's where the screen will be. In other news, I just weighed myself. Bad decision. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Ignorance was bliss. <laughs> anyway, we're about to find out if everything's okay. I hope everything's okay. Fast forward, it's dinner time. Yes, it is. What? Lion King. We were listening to Lion King. But what was this Lion King after dinner, Loco? How was the ultrasound? It was good. It was good to see, baby. Yeah. And for those of you who were curious, still a girl. Mm -hmm. um, she was not cooperative though. It took them like an hour because they couldn't get uh, the right angle to see all the chambers of the heart, like all the measurements that they had to take. But they managed to do it. Um, and everything looks A-OK -okay and really good. I'll do more updates on it later, but it was probably the best it could have gone. Um, Apart from because it took so long, she was pressing really hard on my belly with that, like, what, stick. wand, belly, probe thing, whatever you want to call it, stick. And now my stomach hurts. Like, it feels like I did, like, 100 sit-ups, which I haven't done sit-ups in wow. a very long time. <laughs> and then Ken worked on his car. For, like, two hours, three hours? I think it was four hours. So, we have one half of it done. The alternator has been repaired and replaced. The power steering, like pump thing, has been repaired and replaced. Oil has all been cleaned off. Brand new bolts, brand new belts. Everything's new and or, or replaced and, and fixed. So that's good. And now I have to deal with the valve cover leaks. And um, then I'm good to go. Is that hard? Um, it's tedious because and delicate because the rubber has hardened into like a plastic and the valve cover is plastic or like a like a soft metal plastic and so it's possible that in the process of removing it I might damage you might break it. And if I damage the valve cover that's like four hundred dollars to replace. So I don't want to do that. Um, but you've actually done done this whole thing with not costing us a lot of money. Like the belts were the most expensive thing. I mean grand total for everything, I think is less than fifty dollars. He's just chugging that water. That was a weird way to drink, little cup. More? Want more water? It's because it's sideways that you can. If you hold it down low, like this, can you hold it yourself? There you go. Is that better? It's <sighs> crazy. Yeah. I feel so, just a little while longer of us driving you. Yeah. I've been enjoying it, actually. Yeah? I have not been enjoying trying to get Rosalind into the car seat, but I've been enjoying our morning and afternoon times together. Mm. You haven't been enjoying it. I've enjoyed our time together. I've not enjoyed the lack of freedom. For example, you I just still have gotten... have to eat at the cafeteria. Yes, that's one thing. Um, and then also, I still haven't got my, my, my lap key. 
because every time, by the time you come to get me, the, the Keegan drawer is closed down. Oh, I didn't even know <laughs> that. You should have told me to come earlier. I didn't know that was. It's okay. A thing. I was. It's my. It's my. It'll be my reward to myself. Access to my back room again. <laughs> Little cup. You forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> and Dad is too lazy to go turn on the lights again. So can you say thumbs up? Can you say subscribe? Bye. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can you blow them a kiss? Okay. Bye bye. Oh. Mug. Okay. Bye bye. It would you would have an explosion. It would be a minor. It would be plastic. We would. I don't mind. <laughs>